Hello heroes, Joe Smith here. Gosh, darn it. Joe Smith's got some sad news, breaking news here. Uh, another tragedy, another another beautiful 15 year old girl, another child here. Uh, disappeared a couple weeks back. Uh, went missing April 5th, Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, has just been found dead. Uh, she was murdered. She was shot multiple times. Um, I mean, such such a tragedy. And this just keeps going on daily here in America. And I mean, it's it's gone out of control here. Um, this is uh, please please forgive Joe Smith here if he pronounces the name wrong. Uh, Senea. Am and hold up. Uh, there it is there. But here, she went missing April 5th, Columbia, South Carolina. Law enforcement officials announced Thursday that she had been kidnapped and murdered. She is the daughter of Sharif Malik Amenhotep, the vice chair of the Newark Anti-Virus Coalition, and a member of the New Black Panther Party. So. Yes, uh, when she originally went missing, it was known that she was the daughter of a member of the Black Panther Party, an activist. Uh, so everyone was saying that, oh, oh gosh, it's not more racism, more racism. This must be racially motivated. It's probably one of them right-winger Trump supporters with them AR-15s and... And ghost guns and what not must must be one of them ghost gun Trump supporters that uh, kidnapped her and, and uh, murdered her and all that uh, because her dad was uh, a Black Panther member. Well, guess what? You won't believe this. Let's see how right they were. 18 year old and uh, two juveniles, all black. Uh, I believe one of the juvenile was a girl. So, three black teens kidnapped and murdered the daughter of a Black Panther member and activist. Not a white cop, not a Trump supporter, not a right winger. Not racially motivated. I mean, unless they're racist against their, their own color, their own people or something. Nope, just another, just another statistic, just proof of the FBI statistics that 90 to 91 percent of blacks murdered in the last 50 to 60 years were murdered by black people. That's that's a fact. So <coughs> there's barely any news coverage on this. Probably hasn't been anything on CNN. Only some local coverage and a couple of black people making YouTube videos about it. Um, so apparently her black life didn't matter that goddamn much. Because some other black people took it away and now the mainstream media won't even report on it. Condolences to her parents and nobody gives a shit about their black 15 year old daughter's life because it wasn't a white cop that killed her while committing a crime or resisting arrest. She was doing nothing wrong, completely innocent, not committing crimes, no criminal history that Joe Smith here knows about. Uh, 
good girl, good kid, was going to school, gave good grades, had a bright future. Uh, little dad was in the Black Panther Party. He was also a, this uh, anti-violence activist. He was actually one of the people trying to stop the violence. And here his own people, his own race, it's like 90% of the time, is, who, is who's to blame. So Joe Biden, what are we going to do about this? When, when are the riots? When are the protests? When are we going to have mostly peaceful protests? Are you going to go burn down some black churches and black businesses now? Wake up America, especially those in the black community. I mean, we, we, we don't have to be a black and white America. We can be a one America. We can be one race, human race. But God, gosh damn it, you got to stop killing your own damn people. Go nuts when a cop kills one of your people, when a white cop kills one of your people while they're resisting arrest. But then the next day you go... Kill hundred more of your own people yourself. In the hypocrisy, if you don't want people to be racist towards you, in your goddamn hypocrisy, and ki stop killing your own people. There's no reason for this child to die. Just stupid. Just stupid that your own people are killing your own kids. And then you go blame other people, or you go blame the police, or the government, or Trump, or white people, or that. You bring it on yourself. Stop, stop killing kids. All lives matter. And the MSM should be ashamed for not reporting on this. Fifteen, sixteen-year-old black girl shot, killed by police while she's trying to stab a bunch of other people, and it's all over the news, riots, protests. A week later, just what? It's been a week, two weeks, something like that, or just I mean. The, the murder probably took place a week ago or something, or maybe a couple weeks ago, but basically at the same time, same time you're all going nuts because a white cop shot and killed a black girl with a knife trying to stab people, chasing them around the yard and driveway, trying to stab them, in front of the police even. But at that same time, your own people are killing your own 15-year-old girls. And not saying a goddamn word about it. Nobody's complaining. Oh, Joe Smith here is complaining. This this girl done nothing wrong. Her life mattered more than that felon who committed aggravated assault and attempted murder. And refused to stop when the police told her to stop and drop the weapon. Well, this girl here, a Sinea. She didn't do that. She she did nothing wrong. She wasn't trying to hurt no one. She she's out trying to help her dad end the violence. She was a good kid. She for reals. She didn't deserve to die. It's just disgusting. The hypocrisy, the double standard here. And Joe Smith signing out.